Hey, it's uh, August 12th, 2014. I just wanted to show a motor that I discovered uh, yesterday. I'm just in the process of doing a high voltage Chernobyl experiment, which involves uh, basically uh, two high voltage capacitors on a rotor uh, powered by uh, plus and minus um, 20 kilovolts. So we've got about 40 kilovolts between the two plates. And what I found was that uh, rather than the device turning to point in a particular direction, it actually got continuous rotation. And I found it was seemed to be because there was corona coming off of these ink lines that lead back to this capacitor plate here. And we seem to have, uh, I guess what you would call an electrostatic wind motor, uh, somewhat similar to the ones that were described by Ole Jefimenko. So I put some wires on here on either side uh, just to ex accentuate this effect. And I'm just going to run it now and show you how this effect works at 40 kilovolts. So we're at 40 kilovolts now, and you can see uh, we get like uh, movement right away. The rotor is about 280 grams. Uh, I tried a heavier rotor, which was 1.2 kilograms, which used um, Lexan as the dielectric, but it was too heavy. So I've used here a compressed styrofoam. Uh, which is about a half an inch thick, but it still works perfectly fine. If I now remove these um, wires so there's no uh, obvious corona points on this rotor, and now try the high voltage, it'll struggle to develop any motion. I'll just turn the high voltage on now. We're at about 40 kilovolts again. It doesn't want to move. 